Hi, my name is Matt and I'm part of the Lead Tools support team here at Lead Technologies. And today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to set your Lead Tools runtime license. And this tutorial is video two of our video series on our Xamarin Camera Control, which is a new feature that was added to our Lead Tools version 20 SDK in its most recent update. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pass in raster support dot initialize and in the parameters you'll pass in this. Next we're going to add three variables, two are string variables and one is a byte array. The first string variable is our lick string and we're going to set that equal to the contents of our license file. The second string is our developer key and we'll set that equal to the contents of our developer key file. And I will show you where to locate both of those files in just a second. The last variable is a byte array and it's going to be lick bytes and we're going to set that equal to system.text.encoding.utf.getBytes and we'll pass in the parameter of the lick string that we set just a second ago. And then the last line of code, we're going to do raster support.setLicense and this is where we actually set our license. And there's going to be two parameters that we're going to pass in. The first is our lick bytes and the second is our developer key. Okay. So now all we need to do is we need to add the contents of our license file and our developer key file. So open up File Explorer and go to the Lead Tools 20 folder under Support, Common, License, and then here is your license file and then here is your developer key file. So we'll open up the license file and the first thing that you're going to see is just some information about your license, uh, the expiration date, serial numbers which uh, come with purchase versions of the SDK and then anything that your serial number unlocks and since I'm using an evaluation license uh, it, it basically just unlocks the full functionality of the Leap Tools SDK. So we're gonna go, go under all that and we're gonna want everything from license equals and on. And we'll copy and we'll paste that right here where it says copy your or paste your license contents here all right and then next we're going to grab our developer key which is going to be in the dot lick dot key file and basically just grab everything that is in that file and we'll paste it right here where our developer key is okay all right, so now your license is set and your application is ready to deploy. And you should see on your device, once you deploy the application, that the Xamarin Camera Control taps into your device's camera and it will show you your camera on the device's interface. And next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some functionality to the Xamarin Camera Control. The first thing that we're gonna do is add barcode functionality. 